dumped the heavier rains amount. Bluntstown coming in at 1.13 inches of rain. Another shot of rain on the way. We'll be highlighting that in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Ross. Some students struggle focusing in class and identifying the issue can be difficult. The lack of focus can distract others from learning. News 13's Christiana Roberson visited a local elementary school today and tells us what help is available for students struggling to pay attention. Most schools in the Bay District have experts specializing in behavioral health. Keeping a student focused and calm can be daily challenges for teachers, but not everyone has the knowledge to pinpoint what the problem is. Specialists say sometimes it's a sensory issue. They help children's sensory needs by providing tools that help them stay focused and stay in class. We have a lot of tools at our disposal. Um, we try, I try to match with the senses that the child is struggling with. Um, so we have tactile things that children can hold for touch. Um, we have scented Play-Doh that, that covers touch and smell. Um, we have visual timers um, for things that they can look at. Dr. Jenna Jordan with Highland Park Elementary School says each student is different. Is it sound? Is it is it the chewies for the mouthfeel? Is it their hands? She will work with the child until they find which sensory item is right. Jordan says students are subconsciously occupied, which allows them to be focused on the teacher. She says helping students focus begins in the classroom. The teacher will come and tell me what they're struggling with. Sometimes if we can't figure it out, I'll go go sit in the classroom and watch for a little bit and say, oh, okay, it's a it's a pencil issue or it's a chair issue or whatever it is. So it is a team effort um, and a lot of trial and error. When everyone is flexible with a student, Jordan says a successful environment is created. There is a variety of sensory items teachers can get, but buying them may be a barrier. District officials say some of their funding from the items comes from Bay Education Foundation grants. There's an Aldi grant. There's a Home Depot grant. Um, so new teachers new to the classroom, um, look out for those grants. In Panama City, Christiana Roberson, News 13, Panhandle Strong. School officials say keeping students in the classroom is Highland Park Elementary's main goal.